Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. Before starting each work, I sort through fabric remnants and intelligible scraps and think, throw everything out right away or at least try to do something. An attempt is not a torture. From the whole heap of scraps, I took away fabrics of green and brown colors, everything that was green dense camouflage fabric, jersey and thin silk. Small narrow cuts and these are also needed pieces, these are cutouts in black and bright red. And what decent design can you come up with? Necessity for invention is cunning. First, let's go over all these rags. For work, I need squares measuring 10 by 10 cm. It is not necessary that they will be perfectly straight cut, you can just cut it by eye. Even if they turn out a little narrower or with a cut corners, it's okay. In our today's rug, you can sew up all the remnants, even the most irregular shape. Preparing a place to work at a sewing machine. In order for the edges of the canvas to lie exactly on the same plane with the needle plate, we will use a special side table, which I made myself. We take a very dense, strong fabric as the base of the rug, so that it does not stretch or deform. I want to make the rug semicircular. We fold the square parts in half. Then, mentally divide into three parts and bend the edges so that we get such a beak. We will sew to the base with a wide edge. There are many options for folding these blanks and sewing technology. On my channel, I show the version of thin fabrics that I sewn from the center. Before starting work, let's look at the base fabric that we will use. It's better to immediately sew the edges with a hem or bias tape. But my fabric is very dense, it does not crumble. I will sew just like this. We fold the beak, apply it to the base with the tip outward and stitch it on the sewing machine. There are many layers of fabric, so install a strong, sharp needle immediately. In the process of work, correct the fabrics, lay them so that there are no very thick joints. Sew the first row of beaks along the entire perimeter. We will sew the second row of blanks so that they cover the empty spaces and gaps between the parts. Determine the distance between the rows yourself, empirically. I got the first rows in 5 mm. The sequence of colors depends on your idea and the amount of material you have. Usually, in this technique, they begin to sew from the center, laying the details with their beaks inward. With this method, we control the size of the rug. When you sew all the shreds, you can stop. If you sew from the edges to the center, there is a danger that there is simply not enough fabric and work will stop. In general, this method is good because you can immediately get rid of a huge amount of variety of scraps. By the way, it's not necessary to use 
new fabrics here. On a dance base, you can sew pieces from old clothes, t-shirts, bad linen. You can see for yourself what kinds of fabric you have in work. It's tight camouflage, fine silk, and the black pieces are jersey. We fold the details and immediately sew them on. You see, they bristle a little. This is what gives an additional decorative effect. This work is not fast. Painstaking. For hard-working, zealous housewives. Of course, it is much easier to buy a ready-made synthetic rug in the store and not bother. When we get to the middle, it becomes more difficult to flash. Red fabric is a t-shirt, jersey, cut lunges. If an already sewn edge interferes, you can roll it up with a tube. You can cover the middle of the rug with a strip of fabric. Fold in half lengthwise, gather along the edge of the thread, form a curl and sew it onto your rug. Yes, a delicious slice of watermelon. I always think that I'm so drawn to the refrigerator in the middle of the night. And now I realized, these magnets attract. There is a design I got in the form of a watermelon wedge. What should I do if I had fabrics of exactly that color at hand, size 50 to 80 centimeters? It is very dense and warm, and sewn from cotton, natural fiber. Waking up to the morning and getting out of bed, it's better to feel warm natural cotton under your feet and not so less synthetics. Men is a part of nature and you want to surround yourself with natural materials. In general, I'm happy. Very well fitted these scraps. Otherwise, they would have been waiting in the wigs for a very long time. And now they will still serve. They will benefit in the form of a rug and not just rot in the trash. I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. See you in the next episode.